Mo! Hi! Nibble, nibble, nibble! Nibble, nibble! Nibble, nibble! Good morning. Uh, today we're going to be going to Queechy Gorge, Vermont. And uh, I'm excited. It's going to be great because this is like a, a place that we used to go to all the time when I was a kid uh, as a family. And now we're doing it again. Like I'm back here after two years um, back in Maine. And I'm just, I'm so, I'm so excited to be here and I'm so glad that we're all going as a family. It's going to be awesome. We're going to go do some hiking. We might go, I don't know where else we're going to go exactly, but. Um, we, maybe we'll go to the antique toy museum, maybe? Is that still a thing? It might be, I'm not sure. We'll have to check. I'm excited. I, I just wanted to get the day started. Uh, I uh, didn't sleep super well last night. I was kind of tossing and turning a little bit and I had a, a, a major headache, but also I kind of got freaked out a little bit. I heard, I think I heard an owl attack. <laughs> I heard a loud who followed by a loud screech <laughs> and then nothing <laughs> which sounds they just do that they just do that <laughs> yeah they just they just talking oh <laughs> it sounded like it was dangerous <laughs> it's going to be a really great day we're going to do we're going to see some wonderful beautiful um, foliage um, maybe some water features Possibly, yeah. <laughs> Possibly rivers and waterfalls and such. Huh? The dinosaurs are out here eating the corn? The dinosaurs are out here eating the corn? Hold on. Let's go see the dinosaurs. Oh, well, you'll have to come back for your corn a little bit later. You've been all over the neighborhood today. I've seen you everywhere. It's the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs are here. I've definitely mentioned it before on the stream, but uh, if for anybody who doesn't know, my, uh, my mom does have a, a goat farm basically a goat goat ranch um she has i want 12 or 13 goats and is also friends with all the woodland creatures here so um yeah no it's really great i love it the the goats are super super adorable and i'm sure there's lots of goat footage uh from this trip that you guys can see in fact actually i'm going to get so much goat footage. i already got a whole bunch yesterday then i'm going to put a bunch of it on patreon so if you're following on patreon expect a goat only vlog. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's get this show on the road. I wish the camera captured just how gorgeous this is. It really doesn't. But like just the way that the light is touching the oh, tips. Isn't I, I love that. Just yeah. the way the light is touching the tips of the trees yeah. and the colors and everything. Yeah, isn't it gorgeous? It's so pretty. I can't wait till we go to Queechy Gorge. <laughs> Well, we stopped at a, a rest stop. Uh, you know, go to the bathroom, get a snack or whatever. Uh, we're almost there, we're getting there, like half an hour out from Queechy Gorge. And uh, when we get there, I think we're probably just gonna stop and do some like hiking and sightseeing, but I really wanna go to that antique toy museum if it's still open. I assume that it is. Uh, I don't think it costs, does it cost anything to go in there? I think it's just you walk in and just go in. Like an antique toy mall or whatever. Um, and I think that would be really cool. I think you guys would like that a lot. Um, I got car sick on the way over here, which is new for me, because uh, normally I'm the one driving, so I'm not sitting in the back seat, and I just felt like really nauseated. But I feel much better now getting out in the, in the fresh air and like being in, sitting in the front seat and stuff. Like, I'm surprised at how sick I felt like suddenly. So, car sickness. I, 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 was, I remember when I was a kid, I actually couldn't get, I got car sick a lot when I was a kid because I would sit in the back seat and play my Game Boy in the car and that would always make me sick. But I wasn't doing anything this time, I was just sitting and looking outside at the leaves and stuff. Anyway, let's go, let's hit the road. 
<laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> We're gonna hit the gorge. Well, We're gonna punch it. We're gonna punch the gorge. Well, there it is. This is a. Uh, we're at the Quichi. Um, we're at the Quichi Gorge. I mean, the the gorge is that way, uh, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, I am. Uh, I'm excited. It's actually. It's a perfect day for it. It's like kind of cloudy. It's a little bit chilly, but not too bad. This is like the perfect time of the year to be here in Quichi, Vermont, looking at the gorge. We're also gonna get lunch, and then we're gonna go to the antique mall, which we just passed by, but we're gonna go into that afterwards after we do some hiking and, and whatnot and get lunch and stuff. So it's gonna be a great day. I'm so good, I'm so excited. And I feel so much better now that I'm not like, in the car. <laughs> like we were cramped in the back there, and then I was sitting in the front, and I feel so much better now, so. And I'll, I'm sure I'll, I really need caffeine. <laughs> I need to find some caffeine. Oh, hey, check it out. All right, that. so yeah, we can actually see through here. Yeah, don't drop the camera though. <laughs> I will. <laughs> like I said, when we, uh, when I was, me and Jordan were kids, we used to come out here for family vacation every year. Yeah. Every single year. And my dad is here this time. Hell yeah! Wait, I went. I came uh, two years ago with just my mom, and uh, but we're doing a whole family thing. Brooke is here. Everybody's here. This is great. Uh, oh god, the sun is starting to come out again. <laughs> ah! We had a business way up here. Look, it's the cool S that everyone knows how to draw, and no one knows where it came from. <laughs> I don't know. How to it's draw. also drawn wrong, but yeah, that's okay. It's wrong. <laughs> it's carved into a freaking stump, so I don't blame them. <laughs> All right, well, welcome to Quichi Gorge. Uh, I got the Wikipedia article up here, and I'm just gonna read off some random facts. The gorge is 165 feet deep. Did you know that? That's wild. Uh, the, the Wikipedia article says, many people from around New England flock to the gorge for the views, because it's gorgeous. The Otauquichi River, flows through the bottom of the gorge in his popular whitewater kayak run. All right, yeah, you learned something about Queechee Gorge today. There will be a $10 charger putting up with you. <laughs> yeah. That's <is> funny. <laughs> I wish I had filmed it before I ate half of it, but look at how big the large fry, it's a whole to-go container of large, what the heck? incredible. The mac and cheese is really good actually. Rip says it's not good, but she's <laughs> she's confused. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, give it a try, Jordan. What do you think? Doesn't like taste like anything. Bland, yeah. It's very bland. Wow. Like, okay, yeah, it is kind of. But I, I don't mind it. I mean, what is mac and cheese if not just cheese and noodle? Yeah, but you but, can but have you, there's no cheese taste. Yeah, there's, there's like no, no cheese taste. Taste. It tastes like it's plain just, pasta. Yeah, it does. I think He's right. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with her. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so does everyone else. Yeah, we are the <laughs> All right, time to go to the bottom of the gorge. That way. So this is the bridge we were looking off of earlier. I guess my dad was just telling me that this is a was a train bridge at one point. So this is the way down to the bottom of the gorge. I remember last uh, time I was here, there was like a nice river area where we could sit and chill by the river. So sorry, I'm totally out of focus, but that's okay. You could totally see. You can see everything else. <laughs> So pretty out here, bro. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> Not as gorgeous as you, babe. I think. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to go out and explore the woods around our house. And every time I come back home, 
that's my number one thing that I like to do, is go and explore the woods around where we live. Especially the places we haven't been before, but I've been here before, and it's gorgeous. Uh, it really is gorgeous. Like, no, all jokes aside, it really is gorgeous. Um, and I miss that. I used to go out in the woods and like play my Game Boy in the woods. <laughs> so much for getting outdoors and get some, I guess it's fresh air and sunlight, so, so long as I'm doing that and playing Pokemon Emerald, that's fine. The water's a lot lower than the last time we were here. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's still really pretty, right? Honestly, last time I was out here, it was one of the hardest years of my life, to be honest with you. It was, it was one of the hardest times of my entire life. And, uh, I mean, even at the time, I didn't really know how bad it was, but I, I knew it was getting bad. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. You know, so much has changed in the last two years. I was here in 2019, uh, around the same time, October, so about two years ago exactly. And some stuff was going on in my life that I don't want to talk about too deeply, that uh, I'm glad is, is past now. You know, and even a year ago, it's, you know, a year ago I was in the hospital. So I'm doing pretty good not being in the hospital and not having life issues. Uh, so I feel pretty good, look at this. I love it out here. I love it out here so much. If you ever get a chance to come to Queechee, Vermont, or anywhere in Vermont, really, do it, because Vermont is gorgeous. Do you have a place that you like to go in your life for a meditative process? Because for me, it's rivers. It's always been rivers. I love them so much. Just moving water in general. I'm sure that a lot of people do. I just think that we're, as humans, naturally drawn to bodies of water moving. So there's that. But it also feels really good to be here with my whole family, basically. You know, my mom and my dad, my little brother, my wife, all the people who I love the most in the world are here with me right now. And I, I just couldn't be happier. So. Keep smiling, keep moving on, even through the hard shit. So my favorite thing in the world right now is watching my dad figure out his new smartphone because he hasn't had a smartphone ever because he, he wasn't allowed to have one for his job because it has a camera on it and he works for the government. And I just, I love watching him try to figure it all out, the camera and typing and emojis. It's really funny. He's been propelled into the future. Here they come. Why over here? Here are all the leaves. Come get one, Brooke. They're not flying near me. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. you got one! I got yeah, one. let's go. Oh. How was it, you guys? Awesome. Nice. Relaxing? Yeah. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough of that. So this is the this is the train Woodstock Railway. That's what you thought you were right, Woodstock. Uh, Queechee Gorge. The Oh, that's the stuff I said before. That's the, all the information. There you go. Original bridge spanning the gorge was built in 1875 as a railroad bridge for the Woodstock Railroad. Ha ha! Here it is. This is the Queechee Gorge Antique Mall. And I guess you can go in and buy a bunch of old shit, right? That's why it's an antique mall? Yeah. And then so they, uh, have, they also uh, have a toy museum, they have maybe. They different antique dealers that have. Oh, yeah. uh, gotcha. Sure. Cool. So yeah, we're here at the antique mall and we're gonna go take a quick gander, not very long, just a quick one, and see what there is. So I'm pretty sure the antique toy museum is in the back of the antique mall, so I would love to go see that. Uh, I remember very distinctly there was like a like a model train that would go around the top yeah. of yeah. of the area right, yeah. inside the antique mall. I don't know if it's just in the antique it mall might, or it's it in the toy museum the or both. Mall. It might be both. I don't know. I'm gonna hug him. So you're gonna hug the bear. Sit on the bear. Okay. Sit on okay. his hand. That's great. Hi, banjo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not banjo. Banjo's a grizzly or something, isn't he? I don't know. Some kind of brown bear. He, he's oh, a cartoon man. bear. I don't know. Oh no. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. 
I don't want to crush the flowers. That's which, right. Which side? Yeah, just stick your face right through there and look at us. Hang on, I'm not going to get my <laughs> hands out of the way. Try to get your cowlick in there. Yeah, stick your face like keep your hair in there. Yeah, so there's the train I was talking about, but it's not moving. There it be. There's some model train layouts upstairs and arcade games to play. Toy museum, train layout, arcade, hell yeah. Video games, let's go. Yeah. The model train layouts were in a building down there. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, you guys were little, it was Things have definitely changed. What's up, Spider-Man? How's it going with Spider-Man? Yeah, fist bump, bro. bro. Hell yeah. Welcome to my let's play of Jellico Rally Big Run. Room. It's, it's an antique turnstile. Pre-1950s. Diecast cars. This is cool. Look at all these old toy cars. Oh, I love this place. This place is so cool. I remember. I haven't been in here in so, like 10 years. This is wild. Look at all these Flintstones. <laughs> yeah, but that but do. Inspection booth. Thrilled to the amazing strength of an out of this world movie monster comes great Garlo by Marks. Ah! Oh my god. This is Brick. Handheld electronic games. Oh wow. This is this is video games. It's video games. Many of them. <laughs> Toy Story, look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. Goosebumps. Did any of you, do, do any of you know like what all of this is? Have you seen any of this before? If you played with this as a child, please leave a comment. There's like a Tamagotchi, I think. Whoa, what's Giga Pets? Never heard of that. Pre-Tamagotchi, maybe. Look, it's Pika Blue. <laughs> Pika Blue, I choose you. Pika Blue, I choose you. Hi, Meryl. Oh shoot, look at it. There's the bop it. <laughs> this is the 1990s case. This is all the toys I played with. Yeah. I mean, not all of it, but there's definitely the bop. I definitely play with the bop it. Also, that, well, there he is. We found him. Year 2000 and beyond. Yeah. Wow. I mean, just take a look at all this look stuff. Look Jurassic Park thingy. And... Jurassic Park, there's Stitch. Yeah, yeah. Thomas, Thomas, the tank, Thomas the tank Engine. engine. Da, 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 da. I see a bunch of Pokemon stuff. That's gotta be Frodo. <gasps> Pokemon. It's a Pokemon show. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. It's you and me. I know it's my destiny. I wonder if they, yeah, they have the, oh, they got the McDonald's my the Burger friend. King. Oh my God, you remember those? Yeah, we we had we had the whole set. But we have a whole I also I also say I have also purchased some and I have a, an entire set mint in the box for you. One for Jordan. Seriously? One for Jordan, one for you, and one for me. You have one in the box mint for us. And I they should be okay because I put them in a nice sealed tote as well. No. Yep. They're in the attic, I believe, right? Barn attic. They're upstairs in the barn. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't touched them. In totes. Do you remember when me and Jordan were kids and you were collecting Pokemon cards and you're like, maybe this will be worth something someday? Yeah, I think. Yeah, you know, like last year, yeah. it became worth something finally. 
some of the ones that I purchased that How were collector stuff, I, so I gave to different ones for presents. Yeah. Like I gave Dan, I think I gave Dan those ones that That's I bought. That's my cousin, Dan. From the Olympics. From, from the Olympics? The ones I, they were in Japanese, I think, but I got them oh. from, the Austra from Australia when the, they had the Olympics in Australia. They had a special movie set. I remember those. With all the, and they were in that cool shiny folder. I had the Pokemon saving them. The Pokemon Battle Stadium? Yeah, it was so cool. Brooke, did you see all the Dragon Ball Z toys? No, I didn't. <laughs> Look at his hair over here, though. <laughs> oh, what? what? What's going on there? It looks like a scoop. Uh. What's happening here? Uh, Look at Frieza. Goku? Goku, are you okay? Are you okay, buddy? Okay, Goku. Home arcade games. Look at the dead bug on the Atari. 1961, an MIT student, Steve Russell, developed a game on a computer screen called Space War. Japan first delivered some home video games, but Pong brought this new game to the masses in America in Sears and Roebuck stores in 1975. Um, this is just but my entire Pong, legacy. Pong may have been a thing. <laughs> Look at all these games. But his, they got centipede in this one in the tower. We had a we had a I had the I had the yeah, atomic I remember purple. Playing Pong at home. They've got an ET. I had the atomic purple. They've got an one. ET and, and I don't see it in television. Check out all these like old like Game Boy Advance manuals, which is wild. They have Zelda Oracle of Sea. But now those I probably have. Yeah, some old oh, manuals. <laughs> I love how they have all the like the new stuff mixed in with the old stuff here. There's like a 3DS in the back there. There's a Wii, and then it's like, there's the NES, there's Rob, there's the Game Boys. What does it say? This is by no means a complete representation of electronic games made, but allow you to see what was popular in the 1970s at the beginning of this exciting industry that I work in now. That's crazy. Some early consoles we could connect to our TV sets, the joystick, the controller, or part of the console itself. These were the first generation computer games to be fun to be played on our home. Primitive, yes, but fun. I love how they have like an old PlayStation like kiosk from, from like a store that you would play, like a demo kiosk. That's so cool. This is totally my section here, <laughs> like totally. This is so rad. They could come to life. Yeah, this does oh, look this does look like yeah, all of yeah. these. Oh my god, especially that clown. Yeah, the clown. Oh, like oh, what? Bozo. No. Is that bozo? It's an old little teddy bear. What's wrong with his face? Oh. <laughs> Derp. Nothing wrong with his face. Teddy. <laughs> that one looks like it has one eye, but this is the it's side of it. Teddy. Tigger. Tigger. We got Winnie the Pooh. We got Teletubbies. God, Teletubbies were always creepy. <laughs> Bart, are you okay? Excuse me? <laughs> he seems a little bit down in the mouth. He seems to be having some oh, issues. Look at him. Look, what, what is he looking at? What is he? What is he? Uh, yeah, yeah. What is yeah, he looking at? Yeah, he's looking at her what's cleavage. You, what you looking at there, buddy? Yeah, yeah he's checking her out. Huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Her eyes are up there. That's right. Her face is up there, boys. <laughs> A cereal box? Yeah, we're gonna go uh to cereal box. That's it. Oh, the Jetsons. Oh my god. Yes! Jetson cereal. <laughs> there you go, there you have it. This is the uh, Antique Toy Museum in Quichi Gorge. If you get a chance to come out and see it, if you live near Vermont and you have not been here before, go check it out. There's a lot of really, really wonderful things to look at here. Too much. There's too much to look at at one time, so you kind of have to go multiple times. And like I said, I haven't been here in years, so 
it's like kind of awesome to come back through and like see all of this like nostalgic stuff that I remember and like go through and look at all the new stuff that they've added since I've been here and everything. Um, and see the model trains. I'm so glad they still have all these model trains. Oh, it's so cool here. Before you end that, yeah. the ceiling. What's up with the ceiling? There's board games all over the ceiling. Oh my god, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Check this out. Board game, board game, board game, board game. Look at all of this. They just keep going. They're, they're lining the entire thing. So yeah, like I said, if you ever get a chance to come to the Antique Mall in Queechee, uh, Vermont, do it. Absolutely. Uh, so that's it for our trip to, ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus. Okay, no, we didn't go see Jesus Christ. We saw the saw, we saw the light. <laughs> um, that's our, it, it for our trip to Quichi Gorge. Uh, I'm glad that we did go to the antique mall. We weren't gonna, but I, I'm glad that we went because it was very nostalgic for me, yeah, even though we couldn't spend too much time in there. Next time we will, though. The toy store was all, uh, mall we didn't even go to the antique right. mall side of it. We just went to the toy museum, and the antique mall is also really cool. So next time we come here, I will show you guys the antique mall, or you guys can just come out here and see for yourself. 